Dragonborn, wake up. Oh. It's time to go. Yep, oh, I'm up. I'm up. Ugh. Just give me a second. I, I realize that it's a makeshift camp, but... Did, did you tell them to put us in the same tent? Was that your doing? It's very sneaky of you, Rickmore. You ready? As I'll ever be. To be fair, how do you get ready for something like this? So it's like, yeah, no. At least I get to go with her. If they were sending her alone... Hey, Eamon. Where's Tish? That's a good question. Tish has decided to go home. Back to High Rock. You might be able to catch her if you hurry. Oh. But yeah, I mean, obviously they would send me with her. Otherwise, it's like I would just sit here and be like, hey, I want to go wonder what's going on. But she should not be doing this alone. She needs someone there just to help make sure she's okay. The same way that I went to... Tish, wait! The Imperial City with her in the first place. Hey, girl. What's up? Where are you going? Bruma has been good to us. We don't want to outstay our welcome. Tish, please. Won't you stay? She's going home, Rigmore. Ah, Rigmore, don't do this to me. Tish, please. Don't go. You'll always be welcome here. Where will you go? She's going home. Ah, uh, look. Me and B gonna head up to High Rock, see what's happening up there. I got some unfinished business, and talking to you kind of cleared my head a bit. I understand. No regrets, huh? One of my biggest regrets in my life was killing all those dragons. You can't kill dragons. You're not a dragonborn. I mean, you're not. I, I'm the only dragonborn. So, uh... Yep, you didn't do anything. You're a dirty liar, Tish. Although it was, wait. Because D in dragon was capitalized. Unless she means something else by it. And it wasn't actually dragons, but maybe some sort of faction named dragons or something. Or the members of the faction were named dragons. Who knows? All I'm saying is that she wouldn't have been able to kill dragons because she's just not a dragonborn. Like, uh... <clears throat> Some people right here named George, possibly George Septum. We're still not entirely clear on that. Watch out for a trap. Sethius will be surrounded by his Praetorian guard. Well, I mean, we did lead an attack here. I'll be fine, Quintus. Anyway, I have the Dragonborn. What could possibly go wrong? You keep saying that. If anything untoward happens, I will march my legion into the city in the name of Titus Mead II, and give control back to the Council of Elders. I am sure Blackwell is as good as his word. Thank you, Quintus. For everything. Don't make it sound like it's the end. This is just the beginning. Good luck, my lady. Come on, Dragonborn. Let's get this over with. I just love how... She's like, oh, what could possibly go wrong? I had the dragonborn with me. Every time you say that, yeah. everything goes terribly wrong. Yes, I'm pretty great. But I'm also not like a god or anything. Things can still go wrong. I almost died. Apparently, I lost my shout for a little bit. All I'm saying is that I'm pretty cool and all, but I can't do everything. I, I, I'm fine with people thinking I can, but definitely not the case. And yeah, yeah, Quintus, he's gonna have his Praetorian Guard with him, because go figure, we just led an attack here and killed how many of his men? So yes, if I were him, I would want, I would want some guards as well. I would be wary. Started. Bert, wait a second, Bert, started Bert on a wire. Wait. Wait, aren't those the quests from the start of the mod? Bird of the wa bird on a wire is for sure. Ties that bind, I'm pretty sure, is also from the very start of the mod. 
Um, all right. This is the most updated version of the mod, so um, it's not like it's a bug that would have been fixed, or that is fixed, and I just don't have the fix applied, so I'm not really sure what's causing that. I'm not sure what's causing that. It's very odd. Because originally it was just when I had the um, the new shout note and I read it that it would start bird on a wire. I haven't read it though, so that's why I'm confused about why that's happening. Dragonborn, wait. What shall I say to them? Oh, oh. There was... Okay. I had to wait for the quest to be like, now you can talk to her. I'll represent you. Leave the talking to me. Well, I certainly won't be marrying that asshole Robert, so check that off the list. The best he can hope for is his freedom. Same with the father. We hold the upper hand of the negotiations, right? We sent half our forces back to Skyrim. We should not have done that, but sure, absolutely. And marrying the Emperor? I don't think so. All this political bullshit, how do they even live with themselves? They will do anything, stoop to the lowest of the low, fuck each other over at every opportunity for power. That's what really pisses me off. The power doesn't belong to them. It belongs to the citizens, the people of Tamriel. If only I could be a true voice for the people. Do you think that I have what it takes, Dragonborn? To become Empress? Ouch. Ouch. Oh, wow. Whether you think she's right for it or not, that is just a hurtful thing to say. No. Uh, only you can decide. Whatever you choose, I am here for you. But what about you? What will you do? No matter what happens next. Listen, I've got this cushy job right now where I play Skyrim mods. So, um... Suffice it to say, I still have to... I still gotta work. Uh, I will go back home to Skyrim. I have people waiting for me there. Wherever you will go, I will follow, no matter what happens next. Uh, or, I'll hang around to make sure you're okay. Then decide what to do next. You know you will always be welcome. You're like family to me. You have a special place in my heart. You know that. Okay, she said we're like family now. Do you believe in the prophecy thing? I mean, if the prophecy thing is true, it would be very awkward now that you just called me family. Uh, if it's true, I want no part of it. Just be sure to tell her of my name. Uh, fuck the prophecy. And if it's true and there is a child, she will want for nothing. What will become of us? Well, like I said, Skyrim quest mods. There's this thing called Skyrim Saturday. It's a big deal. I can't really miss it, Rickmore. I'm sorry. But come on. Is she gonna follow me? Are you just gonna stand there? No, nope. okay, good. Just wanted to make sure. You ready for this? Oh, they're all waiting for us. Stand alongside Rigmore. Oh. Rigmore, get over here. What are you doing? Why are you standing there? Kill him! What? No! Blackwell. Order your men to kill these traitors! What about our peace negotiations? Hold your swords. I am your emperor! You... You... I demand you kill them! You... You must obey me! You must do as I say! You will cut them down this instant! You! Pick up your sword! Cut them down! Cut them down, I say! Cut! Kill them! Then... Yeah. Then I... Then I am undone. 
He has a big nose. It, it, it wasn't me. I, I am innocent. It was her, Morad. She murdered the children, not me. You, you can keep the crown. Take it, take it. Please, please. Gordon, Gordon. Mercy. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, all right, just look away. Just look away, everybody. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. Oh, God. All right, yeah, I still hear it coming. Oh, ugh, ugh. oh that smell. The Emperor is dead. Oh, well, I killed him. I am. Long live the Emperor. Am I the Emperor now? Can we get someone to clean this up, please? Let's just, uh... Look upon your dead emperor, everybody. What the hell is this, Blackwell? You said you were loyal to him as long as he was alive! You... I mean, you kind of lied about that. Majesty, whomsoever takes off the head that wears the crown reigns supreme. Take your rightful place upon the throne of Dragonborn King. Oh no. Um. Uh, Rigmar, I hope you didn't plan on being Empress. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of taking everything from you, aren't I? That throne looks very uncomfortable. She is not happy about this. Look at her. My lady, after you. Wait, what? Wait, wait. We're, guys, we're not a thing. We're just friends and kind of like family, but... Well, it, it's, there's a prophecy and she might be pregnant. I think she's she is pregnant for sure, but I, I really don't know. I, I might be a septum. Should I disclose that to someone? Your Majesty, as Lord Chancellor, it is my duty to protect and serve, and pursue your interests with absolute unwavering ruthlessness. If you would kindly permit me to, and I am sure you'll agree, tie up a few loose ends. We have to nip it in the bud, so to speak, all of them. My lady, you look quite peakish. Are you unwell? I... I am with child. I think it's mine.
Nope. Oh, completed. Rising Star. Rigmore of Cyrodiil. Thank you. Added. Thank you. Thank you for joining me and Rigmore on this journey. I have had the time of my life making it, and of course, we are set for the third and final part of Rigmore's saga, coming as soon as I can get it to you. I hope you enjoyed the time in Rigmore of Cyrodiil. Remember, it's for fun and not to be taken too seriously. Which is a fair way to look at it. Hi. Are you feeling okay? Mm hmm. You know, you just. You, you threw up a lot, is all. Um. Just looking out for you, that's all. I'm not sure what the D is. Like, D for daddy? <laughs> I feel weird now that I said that. Uh, just making sure you're alright, that's all. Oh, no, maybe. D yeah, no, it's probably for dad. Like, oh, you're pregnant. What? 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 Did you just have a seizure? Let's get back on track. Okay, let's go. Is there anything else? No, I guess that's... I guess that's it. I didn't know if there was going to be like an after credit scene or something. I wasn't sure. Well, I'm the Emperor now. So there's that. Come here, my dead, not-so-loyal subject. Let's just... There you go. Nope, nope, get back up there. You're my court jester now. Alright, Mr. Jester, you gotta calm down. Alright, fine. Close enough. Thank you everyone for watching Rigmore of Cyrodiil. I hope you enjoyed. I know I certainly did. I also want to say thank you to the mod author who's put in nothing but a staggering amount of time and effort into both this Rigmore of Bruma and I'm sure Rigmore of Tamriel as well as the mods to follow that. Obviously, there are times where I had my comments or uh, constructive criticisms, but regardless of that, still a very fun mod, and like the mod author said, not to be taken too seriously. In the end, it is his story to tell, it is his characters, his experience, and we are just here to kind of experience it and play through it. Even if we don't agree with some of the choices they make, that's the thing of, that's fine, that's, that's how writing goes. Everyone can write their own stories and everyone can kind of uh, interpret them in their own ways. Much like the original mod, I loved the portrayal of the characters. A lot of them had some really great depth to them and felt alive, something that I always found lacking in Skyrim's characters and followers. All of the voice actors did an incredible job. The only complaint I can make, if any, is that a couple actors didn't have the greatest microphone quality, but hey, microphones can be expensive when you're just doing this as a hobby. I had mentioned in a previous video that I wanted to show off the other cities in Cyrodiil. Unfortunately, the only cities that were really completed were Bruma and the Imperial City. In the end, this makes a lot of sense. It would have taken a lot of extra time and effort to fill out the other cities and regions in Cyrodiil, only for them to be background pieces not covered or touched by the story. The areas that we did see in the mod were very well done. The only issue I had with any of them was that Roskria felt a little too empty at times given its size and the fact that we had to cross the entire region. The mod author is still working on the wedding add-on to the mod and hopes to finish that over the summer. Once it releases, we can go back and take a look at that and I had mentioned possibly covering the romance aspects on stream at that point as well. If you enjoy my content, why not check out my Patreon? It helps to fund everything that I do here on the channel, and makes it possible for me to keep doing YouTube and Twitch full-time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week for a new mod here on Skyrim Saturday.